So we've seen that the three main parts of an electromagnet are the coil of wire, known as a solenoid. It needs to be wrapped around a core, which needs to be made of iron, indeed a soft iron. Remember, soft materials are ones that can gain or lose their magnetism quickly. And we need a power supply to provide a current. So here we can see that the bar is not magnetic. There are some nails in this spot. If I turn on the current, it becomes magnetic. And if I turn off the current, the magnetism goes away. Not immediately, but it goes away. Some things to bear in mind whenever you do this experiment. We can't turn up the current too much. If I increase the current too much, watch this light, it goes red, it's overloaded. It's too high a current and the power supply will cut off for safety. So we have to keep the current down quite low. Also, if too high a current goes through the coil, it will heat up. With the power supply turned off, the temperature of the coil is about 20 degrees Celsius. If we turn on the current and let it sit for a few minutes, it's already heated up to 23 degrees, 24 degrees, and the power supply is cut off now. If you have a large enough power supply, you can burn yourself with a wire. Now we're going to investigate how changing the number of turns affects the strength of the electromagnet. The way we'll test that is by seeing how many nails the electromagnet can pick up uh, with different numbers of turns. In this case, we're going to keep the current the same. We're going to keep the core the same. They're going to be our control variables. And what we're going to change, in other words, our independent variable is going to be the number of turns. And our dependent variable, the thing that we're measuring, will be the number of nails. We'll measure each, uh, each number of turns three times um, and take an average to see how many nails can be picked up. Um, I will record these results and give them to you for you to interpret later. Firstly, we have 10 turns. Zero nails. Zero nails. Zero nails. Now we have 20 turns. One nail. One nail. Zero nails. Now we have 30 turns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Four, eight, and ten. Now we have forty turns. Fourteen. So fourteen and eighteen. Fifteen. So fourteen, eighteen, and fifteen. Finally, we have fifty turns. Eighteen. Twenty-four again. So we can clearly see increasing the number of turns dramatically increases the strength of the electromagnet. Uh, just so you can see temperature, remember we had uh, initially measured the temperature of that coil to be about 20 degrees. Currently uh, it's at about 32 degrees. Uh, so you can see it's heated up quite a bit, and that's with a fairly low current. I showed you that the coil itself was over 30 degrees. Let's measure the temperature of this wire. It's 
it's about 60 degrees 59 degrees is the maximum temperature there which would be enough to be very uncomfortable now we'll look at changing the current and what effect it has on the number of nails that can be picked up so here's my power supply in its lowest setting above off uh, the current is 0 0.04 amps and it picks up no nails, zero and zero. That's with 40 turns, by the way. I turn up the power supply. The current is now amps. We'll say 0.8 amps. Still nothing. Nothing. It's gone up to about 1.3 amps there. Nothing. We'll record that as 1 amp, because it's averaging out between. Okay, we've got a current. Okay, now we've got a current of about 1.37 amps. Nothing. 1. And nothing. There's a current of about 3.38 amps. It's going to fluctuate a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And five. So five, nine, and five. I've got quite a large current, we'll say 5.9 amps. I'm going to turn off the power supply between readings to let it cool down. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 27 one time. I don't know if you noticed in your notes, but the instructions for this told you to keep the current below 3 amps, uh, almost twice that. If I turn up the power supply to one more setting, uh, it's likely to not last for long. Uh, it'll just overload, but we'll try and take a few results uh, anyway. I'll have to turn the power supply off between readings. So a big current, about 7.9 amps. Twenty-nine. Thirty-four. Thirty-three. 